Happy Valentine's Day from McQueen Park. I'm going to do a plastic rocket palooza today because I love rockets. And rockets. I want plenty of rockets. I actually was headed towards Freestone Park today, which is all gravel. But it is being used as a construction site right now. So I came over to my favorite spot, McQueen Park, where there's lots of turf, although it's brown this time of year. But still, we will fly some of these awesome Estes plastic rockets. These things go together quick and easy. They fly straight. Uh, there's plenty of room for the complicated builds that we all do, that I do. But I love to fly these little guys. And uh, let's get rolling. Look at this beauty. This is a definite ugly duckling. I found this in a launch kit that I found in a thrift store. Some kid obviously built it. They did quite the paint job on that thing. <laughs> and it's definitely an Estes Alpha. Even got his initials on there, I guess, in case he loses it. Uh, but I pretty much just reattached the fins. They were on all wonky. Added a new recovery system. And uh, I think it'll fly great. <laughs> this is a no worry rocket. But what the heck, I'm gonna put this up on an A3 and uh, see how it flies after it's a little TLC. All right, ugly duckling. Range and sky are clear, going up in five, four, three, two, one. And everything's out and working. I'm not sure if this thing had ever been flown before even. As now coming right back right at the pad <laughs> that's insane all right hey you know what I spent hours on the finishing finishing work on some of my rockets um, that's why I like some of these you spend a lot of time on some and none on others a little bit on it in between and they all fly great and fun Next up is a Helios. This is a little almost ready to fly number. Not made anymore from Estes. This is almost all plastic, already pre-painted, pre-decaled. Just had to hook up a chute. Going up on a B64. Four. Three, two, one. That B motor could have used to see. Whoops, and a little separation there. Crazy. And helio separation. And where did it separate? It separated at the end of the shock cord that was already pre-attached. Nothing that I was able to 
effect. But luckily, it is a uh, plastic job. And I'll just reattach that thing up higher. Gonna fly a red flare on a C11-5. This will go all the way to an E engine. But I'm in a little park here. I want it to go up and down. Probably won't send it too high. But it'll be high enough. Looking forward to flying this one. In five, four, three, two, one. in the chute called for eight stuck that landing though <laughs> called for eight pieces of wadding probably needs a shoe protector in that big tube that is awesome right there yeah, let's see here chute is a little singed but not much it just Whatever. Right next to some poop there. And uh, good flight. How about that? I like it. Next up is a little Banshee. Another little plastic rocket special, but very cool. Anything black and orange is going to be awesome. Everything's been coming right back to me. Good day of flying. Going up at five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, what the heck? Well, that was weird. All right, well, that took a weird flight. That was weird. Finn is a little wonky. Launch lug is still on. Stickers are coming off. Of course, not all this, nothing ejected. That doesn't make any kind of sense at all. Packed it exactly the way I just packed the last one. Next time you put three pieces of wadding in, but that has nothing to do with anything. All right, well, seemed just like an unstable flight, and the fin definitely is coming off. Maybe that's what it was. All right, something to figure out. <laughs> 